I wanted to experience Yu-Gi-Oh in a different way. So, starting as a budget player with the challenge of only £20 to spend a week and trading with other players, can we turn three Alba Strike structure decks into a competitive beast? As we are beginning Yu-Gi-Oh again. So guys, welcome to episode 6 of our beginning Yu-Gi-Oh again. Um, really excited for this one. Um, I'm actually recording this <laughs> quite a while after I've played these games. So I'm still excited for the episode, but obviously I know what happens and stuff like that. So yeah, it feels weird actually recording it now. But um, yeah, a lot of things happened. If you saw in my last video, I did do a, like a little couple minute explanation of like where I've been, what I've been doing why I've not been able to upload, why these episodes have been like, like this is Power of the Elements, like I open Power of the Elements in this, so like you can see how long ago that I actually opened these. So yeah, not the best, but um, yeah, I'm sorry for that. I appreciate your patience, but we're back on track um, after not this episode, but the next one, that one's not caught up but then the next one will be caught up and hopefully then i'll be able to i'll be just smashing them out weekly getting them done getting them recorded but yeah appreciate you guys patience welcome back i'm excited for these and for future episodes really going to try and push forwards and do what we can now um but yeah without further ado guys let's get into the pack opening into the trades and then finally into the games so guys for our pack opening for this episode we obviously got our hands on some power of the elements there's not too much that we can get in this that will help out with our deck we can get the trap card i think it's branded retro no the branded trap in this i forgot what it's called that can help us reborn scythe so we actually have a better going first play because we now have a searchable summon for scythe so that and also power of the elements is kind of the newest set so we can actually get some tr trade bait hopefully uh, like sprite blue is like 50 pounds and yeah if we can get that then we're we're pretty good uh, most of the sprite ultras are like 10 pounds so we could do well and obviously our lark card we did get a cyber agent ben 10 um yeah eight packs today um yeah not too much more to say. Hopefully we can pull something good. Someone did already pull an Ultra and a Secret from this box. So it's not looking great. But um, yeah, we'll, we'll try. See, see what we can get. See what we can get. So Branded, Central and Dogmatica. I don't even know how to begin saying that card. Terra Elements. Oh, the Terra Elements is in this as well. Gym Knight Quartz. Um, yeah, I don't know if we'll actually be able to do anything with that. Hey, that looks like... Ecclesia. Target one card you're upon the Hmm, kinda weird. Pit Knight early. Don't know that one. A Moki Moki's in this. I did not know Moki Moki was in this. Okay, pack number two. I feel like I'm just gonna get a lot of supers, which is not gonna be obviously great. Another one of those. Another one. Brilliant Rose. Okay. Ika the Flame Body. So, two super so far. It's not obviously not great. So, not going well so far. Five, six more packs to go. We could also get a Starlight, I think, is in this set, but we'd have to be extremely lucky. Ah, uh, branded expulsion. There you go. That's the one that we wanted. Oh, yeah, we got an ultra. Elemental hero, shining neo swingman. I don't know if that's worth anything, but we got one. Uh, elephant, double dust, twin tornadoes. Nah, no, nah, no, don't want to. No. Okay, so odds are we're just getting supers for the rest of these. So let's hope that we get some good supers. Um, sprite gamma burst. I don't think anyone's going to be wanting any sprite cards. Ice Jade Creation. I didn't even know there was a new Ice Jade card. Okay. Melfi's Emperor. I don't know what that is. 
Infotronics. Okay. Another one of those. Melfi Penny. Sprite. Sprite Smashers. To relevance. Oh, Where's this? Yo, yeah, hey, someone in this though. Don't know. Rika Princess. Oh, Nora Maze Traction Crawler Support. Three cards. Three packs left. Come on. Nope. Sprite Carrot. Maybe someone will be wanting this. To relevance. Scatter Fusion. Oh, that's Gemini Support. Like me. Don't know what that is. Right. Two more packs to go. Okay. One, two, three. Come on. Crawler. Proper Gandrake. Okay. Sprite Gamma Burst. Man, how do you say this, guys? Vernusleaf. Vernusleaf? I don't know. Sprite Pixies. And. Oh, we got two Ultras. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? So we've got two Ultras, which is pretty good, just, I don't think any of them are worth anything. I know that that one probably is not going to be worth anything. Morphotronic, Vendred support, Ashcan, okay, Melfi Penny, Ice Jade Creation, Gamma Burst, three of those now. Oh! I <gasps> Let's go, people. Let's go. This is the one, right? This is the... Oh, let's... Oh, come on, guys. you got to be happy about that. Like, I was hoping for maybe, like, a Sprite Blue or something like that. But that is beautiful. Just as good. Look at the way it gleams, guys. That is some trade bait right there. Whilst we're here, I'm literally going to look up how much this is right now. Like whilst look, whilst we're here guys, I'm gonna look up what it is right now. So ignore ignore that I've got an iPhone 10 as well. Like I'm not about that life where you just spend endless amounts of money on phones. Being there done that. My phone does what I need it to do. It searches me. Yo! <laughs> so lowest on eBay. Oh, I hate when it does that. These are not it, are they? Lowest on eBay is seventy pounds, guys. Seventy pounds. Well, looks like we got some better trade bait this time. Let's go. Very happy about that. We should easily be able to get our Thunder Dragon core now, and maybe a little bit of cash that we can put in the side ready for when uh, the beasted cards come out because obviously we're going to need some trade bait for when the beasted cards come out so maybe we can use this to get maybe some uh, thunder dragon cards and then like a little bit of trade bait that like holds its value that we can use for beasted because obviously this cards will go down when the next set comes out um when beasted comes out i imagine this will not be 70 pounds anymore um but that is a sick opening guys like finally it is turning towards our favor so we've got one planet perlino i don't know whatever this card says an elemental hero shining neo swing man that is pretty sick i'm so happy with that damn okay guys so that is what we've pulled let's get into the trades so guys, after that, what a pull. Pulling the planet out of only a few packs just felt so good. And that had like an, a stagger in. That was like 60, 60, 70 pounds when I pulled this card. When like uh, Power of the Elements only had just really recently been released. So that is really going to help us push towards getting our Thunder Dragons. We are going to have to delve into the trade page. Um just people in my locals just don't have thunder dragons which is understandable a lot of the people in my locals are like new and thunder dragons came out a few years ago 
So it is difficult, but we cannot complain with our pulls. We obviously pulled the planet. Um, we got the expulsion that we needed, and then we've obviously got the Vernasilf, which is I th I, like that might become relevant. They are going to get more support, so it might be relevant. And then obviously we do have the Elemental Hero card, which again is heroes, so people always kind of want that and like try to pick them up. And then you never know who wants you, like random supers and stuff like that. So um, very very happy. We've got like finally got some um, decent trade bait because we that we have what have we really had we've had this and the OT uh phoenix enforcer but the enforcer was so bad at the point when we pulled it it was a good pull but again it was not really massively meta relevant it's still a good card but it's just not amazing um but yeah super happy with those pulls um we're gonna get into our trades now and um yeah let's see what we managed to trade this planet for and like a few other, we did a few other trades as well. Um, so yeah, take a look guys. Okay guys, so after the opening, we're at, this is actually like quite a few days later um, since the opening. And obviously you saw that we pulled the tier field spell. Absolutely wild. That's actually the second one I've pulled this week. <laughs> I traded one on the group for like some stuff for normal because I... Just pulled it, just buying some packs normally. And then for the series, I pulled another one. So that's actually crazy. And so during this week, no one in my locals have Thunder Dragon cards. Um, it's been really difficult to try and locate them. So we had to go to the trade page. We've had to abandon some of our rules. We're sticking to some, I guess. Um, we're still making it a challenge for ourselves, but we've had to resort to going to the trade page so that we can actually get some Thunder Dragon cards because I think once Beasted comes out, they'll be way, way more expensive. Um, so we wanted to trade into them now. So we have got not one, but two trades. We've got two trades that we did on the group. Um... Yeah, super, super weird. Uh, I'll show you what I traded away this one. I know because um, it's, it's definitely, it's a lot thicker. Um, they've not really packaged it too well, to be fair. I don't know if you can see that. Um, but yeah, so this one was for the tier field spell. So I'll do that one second. And then this one was just for like a few odd bits. I'll put it up on the thing now. They just wanted some like weird cards from like Ghost, Ghost from the Past. And like I had to trade away um, some of my Despia stuff, which is not great. But the Despia stuff is more accessible. So yeah, um, yeah, we just had to do it. So we'll start with this one. Let me. All right. So just making sure that everything's there. So those are some weird ass sleeves for first. Okay, so just for the time being, we want to start trying to be a little bit more competitive. So with some of the trades we've done this week and then uh, at locals and then with these, we are aiming to do that. So we have got one Winder, Wendy, sorry, one App Cologne, we did get a unicorn as well, just because we needed to find more value, but yeah. I don't know if we use this. I'd rather have Phoenix. Uh, we've got Winder. I think we know what we're going to be doing. we got Dragon, Lost Zombie World, Book of Moon was again, uh, just another interaction. Uh, we've got the Necro Banshee for the Zombie World. It can come up certain games. Uh, we've got one Construct and one Beast. So I think the only ones we're actually really going to play is probably... Um, Beast and Winder, and we'll probably side the Dragon, um, to be honest. I think those are probably going to be the best ones. Um, and then maybe Book of Moon will be in the side, maybe these will be in the side, um, but these will probably just go in the trade binder. Um, but yeah, we just needed to find a little bit of value, and some of these cards are like, like Dragon and Beast, they're worth like 10p or something like that. Um, so these will probably go in. Uh, again, these will be side. This will be the main deck. And we're going to probably start to try and go first. Um, and we're probably just going to win the people. It's not it's not, it's not, not great gameplay, but 
you saw last week, I got <laughs> I got Mystic Mind round one, I got Scythed round two, and it's just like, we can't compete against that with the deck that we've got currently. So this is the way we're gonna go now. Um, I mean, win the draw a card or pop a back row. So this will probably be in the side as well. Just play these two for now, I guess. Um, but yeah, so that's the first trade. Those were for these bits. I'll put up now. Um, as you can see, just like an Aluba, a few other little things here and there. We did have to trade away. I believe there was like a branded fusion and Albion and stuff like that. Um, but they're easy to get back and it is what it is. And then we've got this one. Um, hopefully the cards are going to be okay. Like, I don't know if you can see there. They've like, it's been like bent and stuff like that. Hopefully the card's going to be okay, but... Yeah, I think we under traded because we just couldn't find value in the guy's binder. Um, he had a few things that we wanted, which I'm <laughs> so excited for. But um, right. but other than that, there was not anything great. So obviously you can see it's quite a wad of cards, um, which is always nice. Right, so we'll start from the front, I guess. I don't know how what order they're going to be in, so as you can see, ah, oh, so a Boral Swords. So again, we will not be playing this. This is just, we had to find the value, and this is like seven pounds. So again, that will probably go on the Trade Binder. Oh yeah, we did manage to get a play set of Fallen of Albaz, because he had them in his binder. They're like a pound each. So we've upgraded our commons to Ultras. I might still play the commons, just because... Why not? But um, yeah, again, we had to find the value. Um, we now have three Super Poly. Like, it's taken us so long to get this card, but now we have it. We we'll put two in our deck, and our deck just becomes so much better straight away. Um, yep. Yeah. Then we've got. I don't remember saying to get this, but I deep see Diva. Are they worth something now? I don't remember this. We've got an Iris Sword Soul. It's just a secret again. It's like five pounds. We just had to rack up some money. Thunderbird again, a little bit of money there. Um, double Lance here. Um, yeah, again, it's not very good at the with the mayor at the moment, but again, um, we just had to rack up some money. Uh, we've got one Water Enchantress. Again, these are just to rack up the money. So the only wants that I actually wanted is these. These were just... Um, I threw these in just because I thought it was cool. But again, I'm probably not going to play them because I just think it would be nice to play with the commons. Um, but this stuff was all just for trade bait, I guess. So we'll see. Maybe with Sprite, someone will want this. I don't remember asking for this, but yeah. But this, I would imagine now is the gold the gold that we found while we were searching scrolling through the trade page that he had that we managed to trade the tear spell for and they are <sighs> we found them guys we found the thunder dragons so we've got one hawk we've got one duo one matrix i don't think that's really going to be that useful just one chaos valkyria again that might be handy we got one run war, two, three raw, and three dark. So we find, finally got our thunder dragons. Obviously, these two will be unplayable. Um, but we finally have like a little engine. Now we could probably play like three dark, two raw. Um, just, just like draw and get some bodies on the field maybe we'll have to see we'll have to play around with it but at least we've got the cards ready for when the beasted cards come out um yeah really excited about that guys that was quite a long like trade open so let's just get into the last trade we did that i took a picture of and um yeah here it is 
And so guys, the last small trade that we did, as you can see there, we now have a full Dogmatica package because we've managed to build an Ecclesia and a Maximus because they wanted the Chupacabra and the Chalice from us and they also took the Pastinatrix because they didn't have one somehow. I don't know how we didn't end up with a Pastinatrix. But then obviously we've topped up the price because we were a little bit under. Um, we, took up a, we took a Golem and a Branded in Red. So now we should have, we have two Branded in Red now. Um... Yeah, we have two Brandon Red now. We've got one Lava Golem that's a side. Maybe if we can pick up another couple, that will go into our side. And then if we ever want to play it, we now have uh, access to Ecclesia, Maximus, and Fleur. We do need a Punishment if we ever want to do that, but that does limit our follow-up turn. Um, so realistically, we would just play those three. Um, we'll see if we ever actually do that. Probably not, but we can certainly look into it. And so, yeah, that was it. That's basically the last trade, and um, without further ado, let's get into the games. I'll go first, sure. Good luck, Jules. Oh, wow. Stand by my face. Yeah. One last interruption before we get into the game. We actually managed to make one more trade before locals to just give us a little bit more power, and this is the trade and the deck list. So we did manage to pick up another two Saranir. Well, not another. We picked up two Saranir and a Branded and Red. And we managed to swap them for just a Verna Sylph that we had. That's just, for some reason, like £8 just because just because it is. So we under-traded a little bit. But it's worth it because we've got a couple of Saranir now. So that if we use Dark Effect on our opponent's turn, we can now banish it with Saranir on our turn. And then we get the, Saran the Dark Effect. So... Pretty good. I'm really happy with that. Obviously, it would be better if it was Drew's Worm or Mutt, but we don't have the trade bait for Mutt. But it's a start. It's better than nothing. And um, this is how it altered our deck. And this is what it's going to look like. So, guys, I know you probably thought uh, we didn't see a deck list, but here it is. Um, so, yeah, just following on from what I just said, you can see there in the left corner that there's the two Saranir that we added. Um, this was what we played going into the locals. Um, I thought they would perform really well. We not we don't have a lot of Thunder Dragons, but we should have should have had enough. But yeah, just bricked a lot, not enough going second cards. The Super Polys were basically dead because we just didn't have enough. Uh, we did put in the Winder with the Beast in the side, just in case if we knew we were going first, then it's a deck that hard loses, like Droitron or Sprite could have a difficulty out in it to be fair um because obviously once they normal they can't special now so it shuts up their combos so if you just window them so that's why that's in there but uh, we need to get more super poly targets because there it was just the three were just dead um because we don't really have a masquerade we only have the queratis and it was just it, it was dead basically so yeah we did not do the well it's our fault for the deck building but we live we learn um and we only get stronger and now Sorry for getting you into that. Right, back into the action, guys. Back into the match. Sure. Round fusion? Sure. Mm -hmm. uh, chaining one, chaining two. Sure. Uh, discarding. <laughs> Oh, sure. Oh, sure. Yep. Yeah, I don't believe that. <laughs> Oh, 
something? Yeah. Book of Moon. Target this. <laughs> Yo, is that Book of Moon? Anything uh, on that? Yeah, I'll chain ink on Target Mirror Jokes. Chain Mirror Jokes? Yeah. Sure. Yep. Uh, around. Shane Brandon Red, target tragedy. Um Oh, and that's the yeah, I had a dog, man. <laughs> um, yeah, sure. So yeah, put back a thumb to dragon, it's a sus result. And then... Chain link... One... Dark chain link, two tragedy. Yeah, sure. So you have Thunder Dragon Fusion, Aluba, Thunder Dragon. Come on. No problem. Alright, let's go. Starter? Shane drew us one, target out again. Take 11, trigger blue. Yep. Special effects. Yep. I did. First gauge is getting special, one way or another, so. So I'm not killing. I mean, this board's still okay, right? You know, I'll take it. I mean, yeah. what, what else am I supposed to do? Unless my next card's going to be Dark Wood and no more, then yeah. Don't face? Don't know why I didn't use over Mario, but 14 over that. 14 direct. 22. Yep. Zero. Yep. Get in there. <laughs> Go ahead. Draw. Yeah. Stand by me. Yeah. Normal summon effect. That's really scary. You know? Don't like that. Well, not fast it's, that. It's not really much. It's not like I'm not gonna oh, I'm gonna win now, it's gonna turn the tide. Okay. I will think on activation. Smile. Um, I did wonder, I was like, surely you realize I'm just gonna get lost. I will just totally negate it. Yeah, I'll set it, why not? Uh Toad Effect Target Beaver. Uh, Reds, that's my elf target toes. Cool. Cool. <laughs> Stand my name. Beaver, a fact. Yeah, I don't think I 
<laughs> no, I just don't have my Sprite engine online. I feel like getting that's better than the frogs. So, thanks. I don't know if you're gonna like fuck me off on the crap about my car and shit, right? So I want like something. Just to go first, mate. There's no Fair point, there. yeah. Specialist, facts. Yeah. Start a cipher, but Smashers is better, so I'm gonna have Smashers. I'll just special power up. Um, so if I go spring send swap frog, I'll bring that swap frog. Yeah, it just doesn't matter. Yeah, I'll just go bow, it's fine. Uh, 1000, 11, say 16 or 5k. Main 2. Fat on carrot. That's all the You're correct. 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 You're People in the comments bitching me for that you can't. He's cheating. There you are, Jules. Top deck, Brand of Fusion. Oh, I have a carrot. Sag. Bro, what's your hand? Huh. <laughs> I just drew this. So after that miserable performance in that 2-0 defeat to John on his Sprite deck, uh, that was actually the fourth round and the final round that I actually got paired up in because it was not a good week. And to start off that good that, this bad week was uh, we actually played against Dinosaurs and as you can see on the screen, we got Bagoose good until he got combo, then he full comboed us and beat us game one, game two. My man bricked. And I opened Rivalry and two Brand of Fusions, but he had two Ashes. So he Ashed both my Brand of Fusions, he set an Imperm to ne negate the Rivalry, then he full comboed and killed me. Um, not much you can do about that. Double Ash, like, is just... Who says Hand Traps are bad this format? Then round two, we actually got paired against Flunder, which is one of the hardest matchups for Despia. Even full Despia is the hardest matchup. Um, because it's just no way to out the barrier statue and then with M pen as well your fusions are offline and then their crappy fucking back row that just tributes all your shit so without and then when I go first I can't even double masquerade because I don't have those cards currently in this build so it is just a really tough matchup so that is just a quick double loss and after I comboed in game 2 I set up a masquerade to maybe banish their normal summon uh, he just mystic mined me so yeah, Flunder players, you you know who you are. You're all a bunch of wankers. <laughs> so, yeah, that was not a fun round two. And then the last game that you haven't seen is round three. And obviously, at this point, we've lost twice. So this is basically bottom table. There was a buy, and I missed out on the buy, fortunately, because I would like to have played for the content, really. Um, I went up against Sue Ships. It was a relatively easy... Um, 2-0 to for me didn't very take me very long but that's what you play when you're on bottom table so the first two performances really let me down so that i ended up having to play against two ships but again he's a cool guy so it is what it is um this locals usually get every now and then you get a random player like this that plays something like two ships um but yeah he does have adventure and all stuff like that i don't know why he plays two ships but it's up to him it's what he wants to play um but yeah and that rounds up this miserable week. We bricked a lot. It was not a good week. We really need to take a look at our deck. The oh, homage is actually something wrong. That's okay. Do you stop this? Yeah. So guys, that rounds up for our episode six. Um, yeah, really, really just abysmal week. The pool was crap at the end as well. So yeah, not not really great, not a great week, but um, 
We're only going to improve. We need to make get more consistency. We need to try and get some openings and stuff like that. So we're going to look at that for the next episode because that will just bring us a hell more consistent. We're not so normal summon reliant if we can get at least two. I would like at least two in the deck. Um, but yeah, obviously this was videoed a long time ago. So now it's a Shizu tier format. So we're going to have to look at options to try and combat that. Maybe we did manage to get Skull Moisters, which could help against that matchup when we do go up against it. But us being so unprepared at the moment, we're really going to struggle. And with only the two Saranir to be able to banish their names, it's not looking good for us. I'm not going to lie, it's just not looking good for us. But um, yeah, there's not many tier players in my locals, to be fair. There's one Zombie tier, one tier, and one Branded tier. So... We'll have to see how that goes. Um, the next episode, we're actually going to be recording it on the charity event. So for those of you who don't know, I'll just say it quickly. You take like three t three tins, and then if you win, you get your opponent's tin. If you lose, then you have to give a tin away. Then you get pack OTS packs, depending on how many tins you got. Um, so yeah, that looking forward to that. That should be pretty good. Um, we've actually got I've actually got a good record when we've been playing these of one two of the two that I've, be, I've attended so hoping to continue in that fine form um when i go to the locals again to do that this this sunday coming so yeah we're going to take a big hard and long look at our deck profile um and see how we can jazz it up so that we've got like a better chance to do it we're really going to have to try and maybe focus for consistency maybe cut in some of the thunder dragons so we have them more as a free body engine because we don't have the edge in packet, so maybe we can go like a lore banish raw, raw summons dark. Then we can fuse away the dark and add hawk, and then maybe we can discard hawk to bring back raw. Um, and then obviously we can use it to summon raw. Do you know what I mean? Like that's now two. That's now a couple of bodies. Um, it also gives us fodder for a Sarani or if we can pick up some more bestials. But um, I'll explain more of that in the next episode. Thank you guys for being patient and waiting for this episode. Um, we only. We will get better, I promise you that. We'll get better, we'll get more consistent. We just need to get some better pulls. Rev cards is just pulling all sorts, getting all sorts of ulties and secret rares, and we just pull trash. But hopefully next week can be different. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you at the next episode.